Remember me, and I'll remember you. SubhanAllah. Prophet said, if a group of people got together to remember me, SubhanAllah, listen to this. If a group of people got together to remember as a group like this, as a, as a gathering like this, four things happen to these people. What are these four things? First of all, إِلَّا عَلَيْهُمْ that the first thing that the malaik will descend upon them. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created angels for one, for one reason, certain angels, to, to sit down on top of the heavens and to search who is remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Who is sitting down in the gathering, in the gathering of the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is one of the gatherings. The second thing these people happen to them is that nazlat alayhum as sakina. What is a sakina? Sakina is a spiritual peace. A tranquility that falls upon our hearts when while we're in these gatherings. Now the third thing, that the mercy of Allah will descend upon them. And the fourth thing, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will mention them to in, in another gathering. Now subhanAllah, let's talk more in detail about the spiritual happiness that we have, most of the people, most of us that have now in our hearts. I would like to say, people across the world, people across the, the, the countries, mostly celebrities, mostly rich people, that they're living their life, their materialistic life. They have everything that they desire. SubhanAllah. They got everything they want. They got their money, they got their cars, they got their women. But SubhanAllah, they, they don't find happiness in their lives. Because our mentalities are these days is that through through to gain happiness, we think that money will get us happiness. We think that women will get us happiness. We think that a wealth will get us happiness or status. But subhanAllah, it's all like that. And we think as well, by, by following our desires, we think that will give us happiness. But yet, these people intend to look for more happiness. SubhanAllah, if they got everything, SubhanAllah, they let, they, yeah, they intend to look for more happiness. Yet, they they intend, unfortunately, they, they look they look for and they turn to drugs, subhanAllah. They turn to alcohol. And subhanAllah, and even to an extent, with all the money they got, all the cars and the girls, and they still don't find happiness, they end up committing suicide, subhanAllah. I swear by Allah, Allah, these people have never seen happiness in their life. In their lives. But little do we know that, little do we know that only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala controls happiness. Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives happiness to who He wills and gives happiness to who He does not will. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Verily, in the remembrance of Allah, the, fine, the hearts find rest. The hearts find tranquility. The Prophet said, May I tell you what is the best of your deeds, which is better than spending gold and silver in charity? May I tell you, that something's better than going out for jihad fi sabilillah. So the companions were surprised. Ya Rasulullah, what is this thing that is better than giving out for gold and silver? And what is better than jihad? All of the companions, their mind was always jihad. What is better than jihad? Prophet Sallallahu said, Dhikrullah, the remembrance of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Because verily, when you remember Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, when you talk about the greatness of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, you get this push, you get this strength, you get this, I don't know where it comes from. That's when, you're, that's when you're able to get to jihad. That's when you're able to give sadaqah. That's when you're able to give gold and silver for seven days. SubhanAllah. And just a small reminder about dhikr. In Ramadan as well. And while we're at work, while we're on the way to work, and while we're, SubhanAllah, sometimes we work, we'll be working, sometimes, yeah, SubhanAllah, and we can, we can do things even though we are working. SubhanAllah, the Prophet Sallallahu said, there are two things you can say, which are easy on the tongue, and they are beloved to Allah, and they are very heavy in the scale, and they are, SubhanAllah, wa bihamdi, SubhanAllah, al 
Subhanallah, Bihamdi, Subhanallah, Azim. The Prophet ﷺ said, between, the difference between a person that remembers Allah and a person that does not remember Allah is a difference between a dead person and a live person. And a living person. Subhanallah. And also another saying you can say, the Prophet ﷺ said, the best words are to Allah is Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar. And also there's another narration, that the best of dhikr is la ilaha illallah. So inshallah in Ramadan, we try to maintain our tongues moist with the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. SubhanAllah. Now I'd like to emphasize on a point. By remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala constantly through our lives, if a calamity befalls us, if something befalls us, some calamity or some test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it would make a difference between you saying a foul word or you saying Alhamdulillah. Now Prophet ﷺ said that whoever befalls him a calamity, even if you're going through stress or anything, even to extent if a thorn hits him, that subhanAllah he says Alhamdulillah or he says Inna lillahi wa inna ilahi raja'un that his sins will be falling off him just like the leaves fall off a tree. SubhanAllah just by saying Alhamdulillah. And so saying uh, if this or this or this, subhanAllah, that's, all, that's how we are these days. SubhanAllah. Now, I'd like to emphasize on another point as well. Now, the difference can make to as well in the remembrance of Allah, if we can't say, remember Allah, if, if death be, befalls us, if we are on our deathbeds, what makes us what makes us so sure that when we are on our deathbeds, we're going to say, La ilaha illallah? What makes us sure that we're going to say, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammad rasulullah. Now by saying diff, uh, constant dhikr, this is an easy chance to say this. When death falls upon you, and any time death can fall upon you. The Prophet Sallallahu said that the best death is of a person that dies when his mouth, with, when his mouth is still moist with the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is the best death, subhanAllah. And I'd like to say, at least but not last, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Do not be, do, do not be the, like those people who forgot about Allah, who forgot Allah, so Allah made them forget themselves. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made them forget the purpose they are, they are in this life. He forgot who they are, where they came from. They, he for, they forgot <coughs> who the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa is. Who, they even forgot who Allah is. Even to an extent they'll say, Nahma, we came from monkeys, subhanAllah. We are from evolution. There is no such thing as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They neglected Allah, so Allah neglected them. Do not become like those people who, who forgot Allah, so Allah made them forget themselves. They forgot why they're here, their purpose of life. <coughs>